Greetings gamers, Steve G here from Pickpocket Press. Won't you join me for a mug of low fantasy gaming? First of all, sorry it's taken me so long to do another video. It's been about four months since my last real video. I've been really busy with LFG Companion and Adventure Frameworks, a few other bits and pieces. Just haven't been able to get around to it. But uh, check out my new digs. Woo! Woo! Yes, I now live in a black curtain. Uh, but it does allow me to do things like this. Anyway, so uh, I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about in this video, but I've decided I'm going to talk about running some games on Roll20. Alright, so what I would like to do is run some Roll20 games for folks on the LFG Discord server. There's heaps of cool folks on there who I'd love to run some games for. Uh, and I should say, I already know that there are some games running, so Jason Hobbs of Hobbs & Friends is running LFG sessions uh, through his Audio Dungeon Discord server, so if you're interested in jumping in on his open table games, uh, jump on there and go to the, the, the channel is the Midlands, jump on there and um, <clears throat> see if you can get a game going. Just be forewarned that that is very much a traditional West Marches game where the players have to organize themselves, so you'll have to do a bit of um, recruiting on the channel to get a group of three or four players together and then go to Jason and say, I've got a group together, um, when can you GM for us? Uh, so anyway, yes, if you're interested in that, do check out the Audio Dungeon Discord. So I'm planning on running what I'm going to call a South Marches game. Yes, I'm taking inspiration from West Marches, and yes, I'm taking a leaf out of Jason's book and uh, building on that, uh, but it will be significantly modified, and so I'm going to call it South Marches because I'm in Sydney down under, and that's just what I'm going to call it. Uh, so one of the things that will be different is that um, it won't rely on the players getting organized. I will run this session uh, every week. Uh, at the moment, I'm looking at um, America time, uh, 7.30 p.m. EST on Tuesdays. So Eastern Standard Time on Tuesdays, 7.30 p.m., which I think is 6.30 p.m. CST and 4.30 p.m. Pacific Time, which probably doesn't help the Pacific Time people. They'll probably still be at work, but... Anyway, that's what I'm going to start out with, um, and it, so it'll probably be the Tuesdays. I can probably shift it either to the Monday or the Wednesday sometimes, just depends on my availability uh, and what's going on here, but for the moment, I'll be targeting that 7.30 p.m. EST on Tuesdays. And the, so the way it will work, I'll take players from the Discord server. So if you're interested, please jump onto the Looking for Game channel on the Discord server, let me know. And what I'll do, anyone who expresses an interest, I will create a character sheet for you in the Roll20 um, program, and you can go in there and make up your character. Then once we've got a few characters going, um, to begin with, I will select three players. So I wanted to start out with myself and three players, so a total of four, and run the game in that way so that I don't have too many players um, going on at once. It's been a little while since I've GM. I'm not saying I'm a good GM, by the way. I'm just willing to GM. I'm not saying I'm good at it. Uh, but so the plan is I will start out with three players. I'll choose those players. Maybe later on we'll do a bit of a, <clears throat> you know, first in, first served basis. Um, but to begin with, I'll choose them and... Uh, but obviously, if you play in a session, then for the next session, people who have not played, they will get priority. Sessions will run for three hours. There will be a hard cutoff at the three-hour mark. If the players are still in a dangerous position, if they're still in the dungeon or they're still in the dangerous wilds or whatever, then they have a choice. They can either adjourn the adventure to the next session, so we'll play back-to-back -back sessions, uh, or they can return to base. So there's two options. If you return to base, the players need to make a luck save to see if they get home safely. If they succeed, they do get home, no problems. Uh, but if they fail, I've created a little table called the return to base table. If you fail the luck save, you have to roll on that table to see what happens. And it ranges from 
I'll put a link down below, but um, with a document, uh, but it ranges from uh, being reduced to zero hit points and having to roll to see whether you're all dead or mostly dead, or um, or possibly gaining some bonus loot on the way back. So anyways, uh, there's two main options. If you, if a session gets adjourned, so we're only part way through and everyone agrees, yeah, let's adjourn it, then we play again the next week. If some players are not available, I will substitute a another player in. And I'll, what I'll try and do is select, if for example, a fighter, the fighter can't play the next week, then I'll try and choose from, depending on who's available, a fighter to swap in, to tag team in if you like. Uh, for the next session, but that new person who tag teams in, they will have to roll on the party resources attrition table, which is page 177 of LFG Deluxe, um, a number of times, it's included in the document, uh, just, just to see what state they're in when they um, transition into the adventure and take over the role effectively of the person who wasn't able to continue. Warning, these sessions will be recorded. Uh, so I will be on video. You can be, if you're interested to play, you can be on video or audio. I don't mind. Um, you, But because we are recording, I do need you to be in a quiet space with a decent quality mic. These mics cost 20 bucks, something like that. They're very cheap. Um, and most of the webcam mics are perfectly fine. Uh, and look, don't, don't worry about being recorded. If there's anything embarrassing or whatever, anything like that happens, if you tell me you want it edited out of the video, I will edit it out. Um, or maybe I'll just do a highlights video, something like that. So please don't be put off by the fact that uh, I'll be recording. But um, the idea is I'm trying to get, you know, a bank of awesome play videos for people to watch. The setting will be the Midlands. So the Midlands Low Magic Sandbox setting, uh, which was written for LFG. I know Jason is running his sandbox with a base in Vaughngard in the north. So for uh, my campaign, we'll be running a home base from the um, criminal underworld of Port Brax. Uh, so that's sort of in the middle of the map. So we, the map we'll be using is the the Midlands of our Gosa map by John Stevenson. Uh, and Port Brax is, if you can see this, it is sort of towards the middle uh, western side of Lake Argos. Yep, so we'll be starting out here. Creating a PC. Okay, so everyone starts at first level. Um, you can be any class, any culture from the Midlands. And um, when you're making a character, you'll get the gear pack uh, for your particular class that you choose. I am using a mostly set array for attributes. I am 1000% a roll your attributes guy, but for the purposes of this um, campaign and the way that it's going to work, I think it's just going to be easier if we use a set array. So the set array is going to be 15, 14, 13, 11, 10, 8, 7 in any order that you like. Uh, but also in your first session, you'll get to roll a d3 and whatever you get from that one to three points you can put those points wherever you like amongst your attributes so if you rolled a three you could turn your 15 into an 18 for example or turn your seven into a 10 um, or you might put one point on three different attributes whatever you want to do uh, depending on how lucky you are also we will be using the party bonds table just to establish that initial link between characters and you know, uh, ultimately how much you guys want to riff off those connections is completely up to you. I don't mind. Rumors wise, I will start out with three rumors and I'll throw those rumors out to the Discord server and the players who want to be involved can tell me, you know, which rumor they would like to investigate and I'll select some players from that and then off we go. The other thing I should mention is, which is different to the usual West Marchers game, is that I'll be adopting an in medias res approach if i'm saying that right so i will drop you straight into the action if you decide you want to investigate the ruins of ashabat which are way out in the mountains we will skip the overland travel to get to the ruins and we will just start straight at the foot of the ruins and off you go i mean uh so the idea is you know we've only got a three hour session or maybe six hours so 
So I want to get you straight into the core adventure. Last but not least, advancement. So we will be using the optional XP rules from Companion, as well as the session advances rule. Um, and you can see in Companion how they combine. Uh, so we'll be doing that, as well as we'll be using the optional insight rule from Companion as well, which means that the insight skill is only available to NPCs. So if you're making characters, do not choose the insight skill. It is not available. And look, the basic reason for that is I think the game flows better. I think you get a better gameplay experience when the players have to rely on their own judgment about whether they think a PC, sorry, an NPC is lying to them or not. I just think it makes for a better game. So that's what we're going to do. It's a trick. Get an axe. Uh, otherwise, in terms of start dates, sometime in January, I think it's, I know it's only early December, but, um, we've got Wicked Studios and Greyhawk Adventures running some LFG on Tuesday nights, uh, in December, I think at least for December. Uh, so look, this lot of sessions will not start till at least January, uh, and we'll see how we go, but I will put this post up very shortly, obviously, and I'll put up the two page. Is it two pages? Yes, it's the South Marches campaign document is currently two pages. I'll throw that up on all the different sites. Please have a read. Let me know what you think because I want to craft this gaming experience to result in, you know, the most fun for everybody, you guys and me included. So, uh, yeah, please let me know what you think. And otherwise, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll be back soon, hopefully, with another video. Cheers.